I'm Gary Bowden and welcome to another Zara TV tutorial at ZaraZone.com. You know, Zara Designer is a vector drawing program, but I see some people use it as a desktop publishing program, others use it as a photo image retouching program, still others use it as a doorstop and once in a while a can opener. What I don't hear very often are the thrills from artists over the tools. They're lightning fast, silky smooth, but I'm not hearing anything. Okay, I think this is because the tools are underused. We weren't all born with an understanding of vector math, what the components of a vector path are, and how we use them in our work. We're all human. Vector paths are not intuitive. So this month is episode one of Understanding Paths, Control Points, Control Point Handles, Outline Width, all that great incomprehensible stuff. September is back to basics, perhaps covering stuff you've overlooked. So I want you to just sit back and watch watch the first half of this video. There are tutorials later. I'm not going to overstuff your head. There's no elaborate artwork for you to sweat over. So what will you learn? Heaven only knows. Sponsored in part by the Zara Group Limited. Go to ZaraZone.com, click the top image to go to the Tutorials page. Scroll down and then download this month's tutorial zip file. You'll work with the files inside shortly. To begin, I'm going to show you the main tools I'm going to cover this month and how they relate to creating nodes and path segments. You'll see here the icon as it appears on the toolbar, both the older and the newer versions, and what the cursor looks like when it's used to do different things. First, there's the pen tool, which in Zara Designer 10 isn't featured on the toolbar. Well, oops. <laughs> this is okay. I'll show you how to add it to the toolbar in a moment. The pen tool is used to create control points, to create path segments, it can change lines into curves, it can reshape curve segments to a limited degree, and it can close an open path. What the pen tool cannot do is move control handles, but this is okay because you have other tools for this. If you're new to Zara, you'll be using the selector tool all the time, not just for moving shapes. The selector tool can be used to select shapes, move, scale, and rotate shapes. It can also reveal control points and handles along a path. It can move those control points and move the control point handles. Also instrumental to path and node manipulation, which is also called drawing, is the shape editor tool, now simply called the shape tool. With it, you can create control points and segments in between the points. You can change the properties of control points. You can move curved segments around and close open paths. Here's how to get the pen tool on the toolbar. Choose Window, Control Bars. Control Bars palette appears over the drawing window. Scroll down the list and check Button Palette. The Pen Tool should be the first icon on the second row. Hold Alt and then drag the Pen Tool over to a location on the toolbar. Then release the Alt key and the mouse button. You can close the Button Palette and the Control Bars box now. Okay, you have easy access to the Pen Tool now. So how does it work? I think more experienced artists take these commands for granted, so I'll be very plain and clear with how to use the pen tool. Vector tools are sort of like a connect the dots game, except it's you who makes the dots, and Zara fills in the lines. To make a control point, you click the primary mouse button, usually the left one. This click action means you press down and immediately release the button, like tapping on a counter. Now, click-dragging is how you make curves with the pen tool. Click-drag means you push the mouse button down and hold it while you move the mouse. This creates a control point, and the dragging motion creates a control handle that steers the curve behind it. You always look behind when you click-drag with the pen tool. Finally, to make a new control point, you release the mouse button and then click or click-drag anywhere you see great art in the making. Here are two video illustrations showing the result of clicking points and click-dragging. You click a point, move the mouse, click another point, and align is the result. And here is a path with a lot of curves created by click-dragging. The button on screen is lit up when it's pushed down. And let's see this a third time in slow motion. Now that you have a basic understanding of how to create control points and path segments, let's get to a few tutorials. Open the Zara file named Heart now. You're going to add control points at the points of inflection around the heart's outline. A point of inflection is sort of like the apogee of a curve, the point at which it's at an extreme and the path changes course. This is where you'll click to add control points and then you'll make curves from the straight lines. I'll explain shortly how we got the heart shape into the Zara document and locked it because you'll want to trace using these moves on your own. In the steps to follow, you'll be making control points at the points of inflection around the shape of a heart. 
Then you use this method to turn lines into curved lines. You drag on them, like this. Let's draw a heart. You'll want to download a utility such as Better Character Map, the link's on the tutorial page, so you can find a shape in a typeface, copy it, and then paste it, press Ctrl V, into Zara as rich text format. Scale it up a little, make it a very light color so you can trace over it, and then choose to lock it on the page via the right click menu. Now with the pen tool, click points of inflection. One here, one here, another one here, and here. And the last point you click closes the path. What I'm doing here is shift clicking to give the shape a red outline. Give it a four point outline width and click the no fill swatch so editing is easier to see. When the pen tool is next to a path segment, you can click drag back and forth to reshape the curve between the two control points. This is only one way to manipulate curves and shortly I'll walk you through the shape tool. When drawing, you can right click over the path and choose Shape Tool from the pop-up menu. Click the Shape Tool on a control point and it reveals control handles. What you're seeing right now is that this node has smooth control handles. They move like a seesaw, changing the neighboring path segments. When you hold Shift, the control handles are not just smooth, but they move symmetrically. Double clicking on a node with the shape tool toggles a smooth connection to a cusp connection, and that means each control handle works independently of the other. If you double click again, you turn the cusp connection back to a smooth one. You can also select a control point and then click the smooth and cusp buttons on the info bar. Let's put this knowledge to use. Open Balloon Dazar and you'll work without a trace resource and actually draw a balloon. You'll know where the points of inflection are. With the pen tool, click a point. Click a point, click another point, another one. Once you come to the bottom where you tie off a balloon as kind of like a little triangle shape, and then close the shape. With the Shape Editor tool, let's drag these lines in a little bit to make them neater. Marquee select the top three control points and then click the To Curve button on the info bar. Now click a golden color on the color line to fill the balloon with helium. I'm kidding, to fill it with a foreground color. Shift click the no fill swatch. Now with the contour tool, select the balloon and then drag any handle inward. Click directly on the light inside shape and give it a brown fill because this scene is backlit so the balloon needs to look lighter on the edges. To finish the drawing, I'm gonna show you a different tool. Choose the freehand and brush tool from the drawing tool flyout. Using the freehand tool is just like using a bitmap brush. You click drag. Shift click over a medium gray on the color line to set the path color. And then if the line gallery isn't handy, go to Utilities, Galleries. Open the Strokes Shapes folder and then double click on Propeller to apply it. Make the outline width about 4 pixels and the string sort of looks like it's wafting in the breeze now. Exhale now, that's it for this month, but next time we're going to take a look at breaking paths, how to join paths, and drawing with the shape tool, so stay tuned until next time at...